Hi, I'm Elias Reese. I'm here to show you how to put your motor mount together and basically what you get in the package for the for the accessories. Everything's going to come in a box. It's a 53 by 15 by 5 inch box weighing 12 pounds. It comes with a 96 inch paddle, a two part paddle here that can be put together with some drip rings as well. So you can adjust the drip rings as you need it. It's a very centered paddle and lightweight. so. That comes with the, the package deal. You also get this uh, spin seat. It's called a silent spin seat. What you'll notice on there are is the hardware for the motor mount. So it's gonna be taped to the spin seat. So if you hear some jingling in the box, everything's fine. It's just the, the hardware is in these little poly bags. Uh, you also might hear these, um, these D-rings rattling around a little bit in the mail. No big deal, it's, they're, they move, they're moving parts. All right, so in your bag, you'll notice, you'll notice, um, well, I want you to notice what comes inside the bag. You're gonna get two three inch angle brackets, uh, eight stainless steel screws, and eight pronged T-nuts. I'll show you how to put that together in a minute. In a little paper bag, you're also gonna get two carabiners which latch onto the front of the motor mount. And I'll show you that in more detail here in a minute. So I'm gonna take, what I'm gonna do with this is you're, you're gonna have to flip this over and have a hammer to put these T-nuts in the back of the, the motor mount so that they go inside the pre-drilled holes. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you that right now. I'm gonna take this to the floor I'm gonna set it on a towel so it absorbs some of the shock and it doesn't scratch the top of your, your motor mount. So I'm gonna do that right now for you. Okay, so here I am in my kitchen floor working on a towel. So this has to be upside down. Basically there's a top and this is the bottom. Um, go ahead and put the T-nut in here and hammer it in so that it's flush. And you do that to both portions of the of the motor mount this is the base and then you have the transom as well and the transom is the part that's 90 degree angle that the part the part that's the part that the actual motor attaches to so a couple taps like that keep it pretty flush and also do that to the transom after I've done the transom I'll show you how to put the rest of it together all right so at this point, I just wanna, before I continue, I wanna show you basically what I've done. Again, this is the top of the motor mount where the D-loops are, are fastened down to. On the back, you just installed the pronged T-nuts by tapping those in with the hammer. And the transom part of the motor mount is, let me put this on a white background so you can see. Again, there's a piece right here, three quarter inch piece of board right here. And this is the front. So on the back, I've placed the T-nuts as well, just like the bottom of the motor mount. Uh, so from here, basically you're going to take these 90 degree angle brackets and we're gonna attach those to the raft here. I prefer my angle brackets on the inside like this. There's absolutely nothing preventing you though from flipping those around if you'd like. So, so at this point, <clears throat> I'm gonna move this to a flatter part of the table is I'm going to take these stainless steel screws and I'm going to guide those into the T-nuts from the from the top down. And I'm going to tighten the, I'm going to tighten them down to where they're not moving, but it's there's some play in here so you can move this if you need to. So that's going to be important when it comes down to the end when all the screws are in there, you're going to need a little bit of wiggle room so that we can get everything lined up correctly. Yeah, I'm gonna do both sides at the same time here. So I'm gonna do the bottom first. Pretty simple. Take this motor mount. What I like to do here is just stand it up, man. Just stand it up so that the holes line up easily. And Place the screws. Okay. 
and make sure they thread into the into the prong T nut from the back. Okay, so everything threaded real easy on that one. I didn't really have to mess with anything. You can see it's pretty sturdy as it is. Um, the reason I had, again, I had some play in here just in case I had to move something and something didn't line up perfectly, but that was a real breeze. That was real simple. So at this point, you just wanna go back now and tighten all the screws so that they're all tight. And after I use the raft once or twice, I also go back and tighten these screws one more time. There may be some expansion and contraction in some of the materials, and you would wanna make sure that these are nice and tight before you go ahead and continue using it, making sure everything's snug. You don't wanna lose a motor in the water. So again, these are heavy duty brackets. You can see that's not really going anywhere. And these are tightened down until they're not really twisting anymore. I'm not sure how much torque I put into it, but they're snug. They're not moving around. Everything's solidly put together. All right, so once you have your motor mount assembled, the way I set up my carabiners, and you can use different kinds of carabiners. These are the ones that are included. I tend to put these, I know it looks backwards, but I take the opening part of the carabiner and clip it to the D-loop here. No, actually I have that backwards. I clip down onto the D-loop. And the reason that is, is the safety line can go through this little opening more easily. And it's easier to take it off from the top here. So you can just, you can push this down, compress it, take the line out when you're ready to remove this from the raft. And let me see, yeah, I always get this backwards. So from the bottom up, Place your carabiner. No, I did it backwards. <laughs> Go down. That way, when you rotate it, the opening of the carabiner is up. Again, this just makes it easier to latch it to the safety line. It actually makes it easier to remove it from the safety line too when you're done at the end of the day. That's pretty much how it goes. From here, again, you clip this to the safety line. This goes back to the end of the raft, similar to this. It's already cut to the right length. This attaches again to the safety line over here on the front. I generally put my trolling motor, or sorry, my battery right about here on this mount. And that leaves me enough room to put my bucket up on this board as well. But some people prefer to do it differently, that's fine. If you want, you can move the battery all the way up to the front and sit your bucket right here. Anyhow, that's, that's the accessories that come with the raft as a package. Again, you have your motor mount, handmade motor mount, and your spin seat lid for your bucket, and a 96 inch two-sided or two-part um, paddle, basically, so that you can move around. Generally, when I'm using the motor, I almost never use the, the paddle. The only thing I use the paddle for is to shove offshore if I need to, or I guess if something goes wrong, you can always paddle yourself back if your motor or your battery dies. All right, thanks for watching.